Everything to the camera? Yep, everything to the camera. I'll push record. Actually, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are you looking forward to in 2014, Lingy? Oh, I'm looking forward to the uh, the evenness of the competition. I'm going to keen to see if Gold Coast can maybe get into the finals. Maybe who knows? Such a talented list, but I reckon there's 14 teams that can play and make the top eight. So it'll be a really wide open year. And again, it's great that we're, the footy's back, and uh, we'll be just excited to talk about some footy as well. Who do you think will win the premiership? Oh, gee, it's hard to go past the Hawks again, but I reckon uh, I reckon Sydney and Freo will give them a massive push. Uh, I'm going to go with Sydney just over the Hawks. I reckon adding Buddy there, I reckon Buddy will have a huge year. I reckon some of those midfielders have freshened up a little bit. Uh, I think they'll, they'll bounce back from a disappointing preliminary final loss last year. Who do you think will win the 3RW Player of the Year? 3RW Player of the Year. Scott Pendlebury. He's just a gun. He's a champion, plays well in big games. He's just an out-and-out -out star. Which side will be the surprise packet for the season and why? Well, I'm maybe going to go with Gold Coast. I reckon they can, honestly, make the finals. I know people expect them to improve, so maybe it's not going to be the big surprise packet, but I reckon they'll shake up a few of the teams that they haven't been able to match it with so far, and they'll have a couple of big wins this year and get themselves into that top eight. Which player will really step up in 2014? Uh, which player steps up? I reckon it'll be... Oh, I mean, it's a bit obvious to say Buddy will have a massive year because he's a gun, but I reckon he'll really want to prove a few people wrong and show that he's up in Sydney for the right reasons. I reckon Daisy Thomas will have a massive year. Uh, he was disappointed with last year, big move to Carlton. I reckon he'll want to prove a few people wrong as well. They're both such competitive guys. I know we know they're already champions, but I reckon they'll have massive years. How many goals will Buddy kick with the Swans? And will it work? I reckon he'll kick, certainly over 70. I reckon he'll have a huge year. I think he'll be All-Australian and it will work this year at least. It'll see if he keeps playing in 10 years' time. But uh, this year will be big for Buddy. Who will win the Coleman medal? I think 70 goals for Buddy just about puts him as, as the Coleman medalist. Um, yeah, I'll, Travis Cloak, if he kicks straight, has every chance to uh, knock him off, but I'll stick with Buddy. Can Paul Roos turn around things in Melbourne? Uh, de depends what you define as turning around. Uh, they will improve. Um, for Melbourne supporters' sake, hopefully that leads to a few more wins. I still think they've got a few hard years of, of work ahead of them, um, but I reckon they'll, they'll play with a bit more confidence, a bit more, a bit more freer in the way they play. So they'll certainly improve, but again, I think it'll be a tough year for them. If Paul Roos can't turn things around, could you do it? <laughs> what, what's the uh, standard? No comment? Uh, no, I think, uh, I think Rosie's the man to lead that charge. Uh, can the Hawks go back to back with their buddy? Yes, they can, definitely. Um, quality team, I reckon they've got another year or two of being right up there. Hodgie, Mitchell, Lewis, Sewell, these guys still can play great quality footy before their, their bodies start packing it in a bit. Ruffy's a gun. Um, they've just got some real quality players everywhere. Yep, they'll be right up the pointy end. Okay, these are like harder ones, so yeah. you know, uh, what are you looking forward to in the 3RW commentary box this season? Uh, the best thing, well, being Friday night, so I, I do take a little secret stats tally on the side to see how many cups of coffee Duano has. Um, I do take some stats on how many times BT will say, oh boy, wowee. Um, you know, I'm probably stealing Seb's job there by doing the stats, but... Um, yeah, and no, I think uh, I think lots of a bit of fun like that. I love you know the fact we'll get to call some massive games and uh, and the team's a great team. We've got some quality people there. It'll be uh, another big year. Uh, which three out of your member will really step up to the plate this year? Well, we've got a big new recruit, Nathan Brown. What a gun! I'm looking forward to hearing him call some games. Um, so I reckon he'll step up a bit. Seb Costello, well, he's just the ultimate pro. Uh, he'll continue to get better and better and. I'm looking forward to working alongside my old mate Lloydie too. He just keeps feeding me some uh, beautiful ones. He brings more handballs in the commentary to look after me last year than he ever had in his entire career as a player. So I appreciate that, Lloydie. I'm looking forward to some more. Why is 3W football so good? 3W uh, footy is so good because it is really good quality footy analysis, some really good quality entertaining footy calling, you know, when BT's in full flight and Tim and Duano and 
these types of guys. There's nothing better. Um, some really good news angles with Mike Sheen and Caro. I, th I think that what I'm saying is it comes down to a really great team of people um, who know their footy, love their footy, and at the same time we can have a little bit of fun as well. So that's the best part about it.